Greetings, hello and welcome back to more Project Zomboid. Welcome to the Apocalypse. Um, so I've been, been thinking back and forth about what to do next. And uh, I have this probably dumb and stupid idea to take this kind of trashy car um, over to the city that we cleared recently. Well, cleared in several uh, parentheses um, and uh, come back with that red-ish pickup. Now someone in the comments mentioned there was also a really good condition red pickup in the starter town so maybe that's also something to pick up and then um, we can also look into maybe, maybe really getting one of those cars to full performance parts. Right? Performance tires, performance brakes, performance suspension, repair it, everything as much as possible, get it as close to 100% as, as you can. Um, now the adventurous part here is going to be that um, this car <coughs> currently has two tires that are from the trailer. So they're like at 11, 12%, so they may or may not pop on the way over there, so thankfully most of the corpses here um, have decayed in the meantime. So we're not doing the hoppity boppity route here that we were taking the, the whole week. Uh, I did have some pasta. I also did make it my host rule here to clean up any stragglers. So if you, if you, you know, if you let it slide, at first it's two, then it's five, then suddenly you have a group of 15 zombies standing on the street and you're like, how did this happen? This was such a nice and quiet neighborhood. Yeah, there were two guys in the trees here. Uh, I don't care enough. Uh, yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. You let it slide a bit and suddenly there's a group of 15 on the street and coming out of the bushes. Hearing saves lives. Yes, the zombie killer's job is never done. Oh, and that wasn't even the main group. Um, back to this then. So the other thing um, we were thinking about, I was thinking about. Okay, guys, no, 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 no. no. We kill everything on this side of the road here, and I did see the guy coming from behind.
So yeah, um, about one of the new towns, right? So I'm not sure if I mentioned it or if it was mentioned just in a comment about potentially burning zombies. And I have to admit, I have to say, hang on, hold on, hold, on, hold that thought, hold that thought. Or was I already wearing sunglasses? No, I had aviators. That's much better than regular sunglasses. Ah, right. further away. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm not getting distracted. You are getting distracted. So, a burn. So you can kill zombies with fire. Any zombie who starts burning will eventually die. Um, the important part to know is that zombies only burn if they are on the screen with you or like in your area-ish. So you can't just set some zombies on fire and then drive back home to your hometown and hope they're dead when you get back. Kinda need to stick around. Now they're basically... No. Um... I see that group there, but I'm kind of thinking, first of all, I want to have that smoke. And second of all, I want to regain a little bit of stamina here. So yeah, so there's basically two ways most commonly used for burns. One is, uh, you know, you set, you gather up a bunch of zombies, set them on fire, and then run in circles with them. Basically kiting them, kiting burn, and the other is a vehicle burn. You park your vehicle in a way, or preferably not your own vehicle. Um, So you park your car in a way that um, you are you can sit in there safely. Basically, um, the the driver side door really close to either another car or the wall of a building or any sort of other big big wall that zombies can't reach you there. Um, and then you either have campfires around the the the. the car or you you know run around outside gather zombies throw a molotov at them then go into the car uh, maybe honk a few times and wait for them all to burn out while uh, sitting in the car reading a book so the the risk in the second one is if eventually, I don't know, more and more zombies come and your fire eventually goes out, but there's still more zombies coming in, then you're sitting in the car and you have a problem. Because they will wreck that car, you know, then they will destroy the motor and all the other windows, etc. So that's why you shouldn't use your main car for that. And I've heard of people who, where it took a really long time to actually get them to burn out. Okay. What is happening here? <laughs> Like I would, I would have to check if I, I'm. I'm fairly certain I don't have respawn active. But man, that's a lot of zombies suddenly back on this road here. So my original plan was not just to get that other car, but also check out those those huge buildings that were still there, and also um, stop by the by the warehouse and check for a paintbrush because that's an important survival thing in the apocalypse so I'm not gonna push in here 
Although I'm getting more and more interested in to see what, what's what's living down there. I'm tempted to ignore this group coming up and just drive to the other town. Even though I just said five minutes ago that yeah, don't don't ignore them, it's just a problem for later. It's not a healthy habit. I wanna I wanna get that car done. Uh, I don't wanna drive around more in this car than I need to, like <clears throat> Mods intentionally not going full speed with this one, because if a tire pops, I want to be able to stop before I reach the tree and not after. Maybe not the, the best the best path into town. But it worked out. Making sure we didn't leave any valuable stuff in this car. So I think um, warehouse first. Should be a fairly quick thing. I mean, I could also then start disassembling the crates so I can reach the crates that I couldn't reach before. There's the paintbrush. Is there anything else I want from the warehouse? I wouldn't mind another pickaxe. You know what? Let's get this box out of the way. Don't have a saw. Can I pick you up without a saw? Oh no, I destroyed it accidentally. saw but now we have saws at home like I don't need I don't need a saw here just wanted to check the other boxes but yeah no such luck and actually picking up is faster than disassembling
There's the those three in the back that I can't reach, but you know what? I can't be bothered. We lost so much time. That's what I came for. The best loot in the apocalypse. A paintbrush. Uh, hang on. Hold on, hold on a second. I don't know. I was looking for a side window. Uh, that also kind of had crummy windows. Ah, this is uh, this thing takes some some getting used to. It's not taking the sharpest corners. Like steering a battleship. All right. Come in. Now, I did mention, um, you know, about using, when you're using a burn, you're sitting in a car and you're making noise to attract any uh, zombies. Like, you could totally, in a police car, turn on the siren and, um, and go crazy from the siren sound. No, oh, that's not a great um, condition car. Hmm. I'm gonna check the shelves here. Maybe there's a VHS tape or something, but other than that, this this place looks not super interesting. Uh I said that and then realized there's a hammer radio. Which weighs a whole bunch. And someone, somebody's bashing on the door, I don't care. So that's a much more stylish radio that we can then put into our base to listen to the weather report while cooking. I'm kinda kinda mostly interested in anything with a big garage, which has some storage in it, right? Because that's usually where the interesting loot in, in houses is. And maybe bookshelves. Are those guys coming or not? Okay.
Oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk away. This guy will follow me. I wish I could just change it to two hour days at this point because it's like oh we, we barely started in this town. It's already time to head home again. Tell me this thing has windows. I hear you. You're not happy. I'm not happy. Still kind of looking often for beta blockers, but I've also noticed I haven't been using them, and panic has been less and less of an issue. You know, I think I mentioned you do get kind of desensitized the longer you survive, the more zombies you kill, to a point where panic fades really quickly. I think now that we're more than two months in, um, it's it's really not a problem anymore. Should go stop looking. Save a few extra seconds. He says, while still then looking. Um, I, oh, I didn't even see that the last time. Ooh. Swimming pool, double barbecue. A few weeks ago I would have definitely taken both of these propane tanks, but after using not even one full tank to get our metal working to level 4, um, and no real rush to get it any higher than that, I am i don't think we need more propane at the moment. We still have like 5 full tanks at base. I'm not staying. I'm not staying. Actually, I'm leaving now. Ah, it's closed. Mm. 
Okay. Interesting house. Um, again, as I said, if this was the house, we, uh, the, the first house we, we would have seen coming into this town, I would have definitely turned this into my temporary safe house. But now that we've got all the valuable paint brushes out of this place, leaving. Let me have a quick look at the map over here. Just wondering if I want to dip down here. I'm fairly certain that so while the map seems really big, it's just like a quarter of this. We know that the map edge was here, the barrier. We know that the map edge is here. So driving down this road is kind of pointless. I uh, kind of want to at least drive down this way once to see how long until we hit the map edge. And you know, we're, we're here. We're free. Got a full tank of gas. And not much else to do. Yeah, except getting getting this thing home and maybe killing some of the zombies on the way. But I guess that's not happening anyway. It's, um. Some bigger groups here, some sort of watchtower. Yeah, and that's end of line. Oh, first of all, there's a path behind that watchtower. Second of all, there was a balloon zombie. Oh boy. There's <laughs> so many though. But I, this is the first time we saw a zombie with a balloon. Okay, okay, so. Get a vitamin up because it's late in the day. I kinda need to. Yeah. 100x. Get tired here. At least we've got our priorities straight in this game. Today we went out, risk our life for our fifth car, a paintbrush, and a balloon. And 
NX level 8, I think. Checking vitamins like they're going out of style. There is the balloon. Side zombie. Intentionally did not want to um, damage any of the claws. Ah, it's, it's damaged anyway. <laughs> Hit him so hard, we whacked his clown nose off his face. Um, alright, now, there's literally nothing the balloon is good for, right? It's it's really just a cosmetic item, but they're really rare. These are kind of special zombies that are added by Authentic Z, the, the mod, one of the few mods I'm running in this. Now, if you're running the full version of Authentic Z, you can actually upgrade your backpack, and then you get a balloon attachment slot, and you can permanently have the balloon basically hovering above you. We don't have that, so the only thing I could do here is equip the balloon secondary, then I have the axe in one hand and the balloon in the other. Which, of course, also only works if I'm using a one-handed weapon. But, um, yeah, totally worth it. Totally worth it. 10 out of 10 would go for the balloon again. I know that there's a guy. Okay. Uh, pause, 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 pause. Uh, um... So we had tower and a weird path. Just wanna wanna you know add a note here for myself. Maybe I mean, last time we went exploring down a weird path, it didn't really do much for us. But maybe maybe this is the one. It's not just the random path going off the road, but there's a kind of military-looking tower. I don't know. Anyway, it's uh, got a little bit, little bit later than intended. Now it would be easy to blame my balloon adventures for that, but I blame the, the zombies on this road for the delay. Because they all decided to repopulate this even after I cleared it out. How, how are there so many? Is that really all the ones I skipped on the way in? I guess. Yeah, we only, yeah, only fought until here. Eh. This was not supposed to be a we will clear the map series, but I also 
And I like to have the roads I drive along um, on a regular basis. Those should kind of be clear. And that's also why, um, you know, that kind of shows why I don't have a problem with um, playing without zombie respawn. Because getting something really completely empty that you don't have to worry about zombies again is a lot of time. And zombies will fill in. They come in from neighboring regions, neighboring areas. So actually having something completely clear is tricky, is hard. say that just as I walk into my, my base where we haven't seen a zombie in, in days, in weeks, in months. Um, I want the broken hand axe in here. I want a fresh spare hand axe in my backpack. Now the regular axe is almost gone. Do I have a replacement here? Yeah. No, let's let's be proactive, proactive about this. Roll this in here for future me to repair, and we'll take you. It's primary weapon for the next time. Now, unfortunately, the the clown coveralls have two holes in them. Now, if I had um, any sort of tailoring skill, well, no, you need tailoring eight in order to actually fix the hole, but then you could fix it up and then it would look as, as good as new again. So this is the tailoring interface, fantastic. Um, not seen it yet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna see it again. But now I'm just gonna put it in here. I think I need to find a clothing store, get like a mannequin, and then we can put our uh, a clone, uh, a clone, a clown um, outside on the road, watching over the base or something like that. Okay, one last thing before bedtime. That radio. I think that's okay. That looks as if that, that plushie is sitting on top of the radio. That's even better. Um, now I just need... 3.2. Oh, you don't even have a battery. How do I... Oh, I think I need to track it to this little slot here. Oh, I need to move the empty battery first. That makes a lot of sense. Might as well li listen to the listen to the radio while eating our midnight snack pasta. Oh, 
It's almost never rain the afternoon for today. Night walk, rain ending in the morning on the day after. Okay. So nothing too disrupting. Uh, and I think our little little farm here is going to need a new rain. I'm not sure if I even showed you. So I replanted the farm. I actually added some, some rain barrels out here to make it easier if it's not raining for a long time to water the farm. Um, so yeah. Of a late night. I'm surprised we're not tired yet, but I guess uh, chugging a bunch of vitamins does that for you. Still slept a solid five hours, so that's fine. All right, um, a new day, a new adventure. So yeah. Um, could go exploring that path that we spotted. We could go exploring, uh, go into the new town, and maybe try the burn or prepare the burn. Or let me actually, before I end the episode here, open the map. Uh, pause. Okay, so option one is this. Then we have. This thing I kind of still want to explore. Uh, we've never been fully down this road. There were always too many zombies. It's kind of also something that interests me, especially since there were a fair number of zombies here showing up. Um, yeah, this thing I said, the prison, I'm not sure. Like there's probably a prison armory, but other than that, prison isn't really the main thing. Then there was another hidden path here that kind of piqued my interest. And then we have this town, I think. I think this was a, I'm not sure if this was a parking lot or a park. We could try to utilize this area for a burn where I just, you know, gather up all the zombies I can find in this area, walk with them in a big circle until they all burn out. Like, Put down a campfire, or maybe probably easier to prepare a Molotov cocktail. Gather them all up, throw it into their midst, and keep running in circles. Like the thing is, if you're burning zombies, you don't want to burn the buildings that you want to loot later, right? Because that kind of defeats the purpose. Um, then also this road probably leading to something over here. So that's maybe a different approach angle where we come down this road, go through here, and then attack attack this town. But this this looks really kind of small, honestly. That's about the size of a starting town. Um. Yeah, and then at some point. Want to um, have a look here in between what's in there. And this is the big thing at the end. This is, this is the huge town. You can already see, like, even the parts we uncovered are bigger than any of the towns. And we haven't. This is probably like most of this area is town, and then back here. <clears throat> so, lots, lots to potentially still do, lots to explore. The completionist in me also kind of wants to at least drive down this road to complete the loop. I don't expect any surprises here, but you know, completionists. Um, I'll have a think about it, what I want to do next. Um, this is the first day episode. I might hold off recording the episode for Saturday until I read comments on this one. We'll see. For now, I'm going to put a cut in here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.